In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working on indirect measurement problems. In example A, it says, a tree outside Ellie's building casts a 125 foot shadow. At the same time of day, Ellie casts a 5.5 foot shadow. If Ellie is four feet, 10 inches tall, how tall is the tree? So let's start by making a picture. We're talking about a tree that we don't know how tall it is, but it casts a 125 foot shadow. So how tall the tree is, is gonna be our X. And this is sort of our triangle for that situation. Now Ellie over here, Uh, casts a 5.5 foot shadow. Obviously, this is not drawn to scale, but we're going to get the idea of the situation through the picture. And she is 4 feet 10 inches tall. Now, we're going to have to convert this to just feet. So you have to think about how much of a foot is 10 inches. So it's 4 feet and then 10 out of 12 for our fraction because there's 10 or there's 12 inches in a foot. So let's convert that to a decimal and it's 0.83333 repeating. So let's just approximate with 4.83. So she's about 4.83 feet tall and her shadow is 5.5 feet long. So these two triangles are similar because it does say that they're outside at the same time of day. So the sun would be hitting them at the same angle. So that means that we can set up a proportional equation. The 125 and 5.5 have to be proportional to the x and the 4.83. So our equation is going to be x over 125 equals 4.83 over 5.5. Now that's just one way you could set up the equation. There are other equations that are equivalent that will get you the same answer. But this works because the 125 and 5.5 match. They're both the shadow lengths and x and 4.83 match as well. So we solve this by cross multiplying. So we're going to multiply x times 5.5 and 125 times 4.83. So we get 5.5x equals 603.75. And then just divide both sides by 5.5. And you get x equals 109.77, approximately feet. So this is an approximate answer. I would say the tree is about 110 feet tall. All right, and let's look at an example B. Cameron is five feet tall and casts a 12 foot shadow. At the same time of day, a nearby building casts a 78 foot shadow. How tall is the building? So again, I like to draw a picture just to see the situation. It does not have to be a perfect picture at all. You just wanna get the measurements in there so you make sure that you match up everything correctly. So Cameron's five feet tall and her shadow is 12 feet long. So that's her triangle. And then we have a building, and we don't know its height, so that's going to be our x, but we do know that its shadow is 78 feet long. We're able to measure that. So this is our second triangle. So we can see that the 12 will match up with the 78 in our proportional equation and the 5 with the x. So I'm going to say 5 over 12 equals x over 78. And again, you can solve this by cross multiplying. Multiply the 5 times 78 and the 12 times x, and you get 12x equals 390. And then divide both sides by 12, and you get 32.5. So that means that the building is 32.5 feet tall. And it is always good to just do a reality check on this to make sure it makes sense. If you look at the Cameron part of the situation, she was a little less than half the height of her or the length of her shadow. 
And we have the same thing here. Our building is smaller than the shadow, and the shadow is about twice as long as the building. So it seems to make sense and be realistic. And if you got something that was totally off, then maybe you would want to go back and check your work. 